What's going on you guys? Eric here. It's another day. It's time to continue on with our 2015 FCO7 track bike build. Today's goal is we gotta get these brackets installed on the bike so we can get the fairings installed. So if anybody's wondering, these are all goodies from AP Moto Arts. Let's get these things out of the bag and have a quick look at them, see what we got going on before we paint them, and then get them installed on the bike. So let's get to work. Now most of these parts aren't too bad. What's entertaining to me though, is that this piece right here, which I believe holds the ECU, could be wrong, I gotta play with this stuff, see where it all goes, but this part actually came off of one of uh, Andy's bikes because he didn't have a part available for him and I kept hassling about the parts. Overall, they look pretty nice. Maybe uh, get a little sanding, clean these up a little bit right before I paint them here in a few minutes, but overall the quality is pretty decent. Before we install them on the bike, let's go ahead and get these things painted. Let's get to it. So we got our brackets freshly painted. They look pretty darn good for a simple rattle can job. But let's go ahead and let's get these things mounted on the bike so we can get this bike going. As soon as we get these things mounted though, we got to take this ECU. We got to get this thing sent off. So Andy can work his magic on it. So let's go ahead and let's get to work. Now we managed to get the ECU bracket on and the side brackets, but I'm going to have to figure out how to rewire or reroute the wires to this ECU. Because the ECU sits right there. And these need to hook up to the bottom of the ECU. So the question is how to reroute this. Something to figure out. Let's go ahead and finish putting on the other brackets first. So it looks like, in order for me to even get this bracket on there, I'm going to have to cut this little guy off. That's no big deal. We'll get the old die grinder out, or Dremel, and quickly cut this off. But I'll have to wait for some paint to come in so we can cover that up. Alright guys, so we got this little piece cut off. So I still need to also take this rust off of here, clean this up a little bit and repaint it. So whenever I go do that, we're gonna fix this as well. Throw some primer and this colored paint on there. So for the time being, we're gonna leave this little bracket off of there. What's going on guys, Eric here. It's another day. 
We're getting back on this FC07. A couple things we got to do. We got to finish installing these brackets. But before we do that, we're going to work on removing all this rust, repainting it. We got to repaint this on the triple. And then we can finish putting our brackets on. So let's get back to work. guys check it out so we went ahead we prepped the surfaces for paint we got rid of some of the surface rust that was on majority of uh, every place that this decided to hit the pavement went ahead and blocked everything off and we pick up some paint from color right so we got some paint for the frame the clear coat the primer they managed to send some uh, wax and grease remover towelettes as well so we'll go ahead and wax and grease remove this throw some primer on and then we'll throw the paint on Let's get back to it. Check it out, you guys. We managed to get this painted. It's not a perfect match, but that's all right. Now, even though it's not a perfect match, it's okay because, well, one, it's a track bike, two, it's already been wrecked, and three, it'll probably go down again. We're still going to wet sand this, and then we'll throw a little bit of polish on there, call it good, throw our couple brackets back on, and get back to it. So let's get to it. Check it out, you guys. We've got the dash mounted. She looks good. Pretty simple, straightforward. I'm going to put our ECU bracket back in as well. Still a little unsure how to put the rectifier bracket in, but since we got this fork down, we happen to get some parts in. How about go ahead and put some clip-ons on while we're here. So let's get to it. Alright guys, that's it for today. I got a little bit done. I got a couple of the brackets on. Eh, it's hard to see. You got the ECU bracket on. This one's really exciting because we got the gauge cluster in there now. Even though it's digital. <laughs> got the start of our clip on sitting there. That's good. It's really starting to look like a bike now. Both sides. This bracket, the rectifier bracket, that's uh, that's the good question there. Hopefully Andy gets back to me so I can figure out this bracket. We got these installed as well. I am still missing the one little Delron plug that goes to the front of this little guy for the front fairing. She's coming along all right. The next thing we got to do is we need to replace both sprockets, the chain. We need to figure out where the rectifier bracket goes. And then we'll start playing with the fairings. Once the fairings get on the spike, it's going to start looking real good. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.